Hello everyone, and welcome to part three of my Dark Souls walkthrough. We're going to head up this ladder now. Uh, I can't even remember what happened in the first... Oh yeah, we just defeated Taurus Demon and Met Knight Slayer, hadn't we? So that's good. So now we're going to move on into the Undead Parish. You can see Mr. Drake's tail there looking pretty damn threatening. Hello, mate. How you doing? Three, four... Oh god, this guy takes five hits to kill. So, uh... Already, these hollows have gotten a little bit more powerful coming into the next section of game. This guy, this guy, he is a right bastard just on the edge here where I can barely hit him without falling off. So I've really got to be careful. Ow! Oh, I've really got to be careful of him. So, um, come on, come on. No! Oh, oh no, no, no. He's got a shield as well. Come on, man. Come on, work with me. Work with me. Make this an easy job for me. Nah, 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 you don't get to Esther's, I get to Esther's, you see? You see, I get to Esther's, not you, okay. Um, I could get his tail, I guess, I could chop his tail off using my crossbow or my bow or whatever, and get the Drake Sword, but I'm not going to do that, because I'm almost at my favourite weapon of the game, so there's no point getting the Drake Sword. I'm going to kill these rats, though, because they're in my way, frankly. So they need to get out my way. This guy isn't even in my way, but I'm going to kill him anyway. Otherwise, he's going to come after me as I try to head up this ladder here. Quick warning, I've still got hay fever, and I will do for the next few months. So uh, if you hear me occasionally sniffing or sneezing or doing whatever, that's why. Now, up these stairs, as I point forwards towards the stairs, or even if I point upwards up the stairs, is another one of those Black Knight guys who absolutely mauled us in the last episode. So we're just going to leave him alone. We're going to leave him be. I can't be asked to try and deal with him after what happened with his brother last time. So, you know, we'll leave him be and we'll get on with our own quest. In there's a bonfire, but you have to defeat the Drake to get to it. And I can't be bothered with that stuff. So uh, let's take this guy and that guy over there on. As you can see, there's another hollow who's just started running backwards. He's actually going to close a gate. As we're going to hear with the surprisingly loud sound effect in a minute as this guy tries to stab me and fail terrifically. He's going to try and est us. He's going to est us. No, he's not. I got it. There it is. The gate's closed. So I'm not going to be able to get through that way there. Uh, we got another spear guy here who we have to trick into trying to hit us like so. Thing is, I don't want to actually get too close because if I do, I'm going to spawn that boar thing over there and that is dangerous that thing is a mini boss and it is very very deadly so if i can just keep away from that i'd be very happy indeed so we'll head up here instead and meet yet another spear guy but we're gonna ignore him for now we're gonna take care hopefully of these guys as no he's gonna drop down there okay so let's take care of this guy Unless he drops down too nearly. No, he, dro he drops down as well. Okay, so spear guy it is then. Because we've taken care of those two. Come on. Oh, that's not very good. Someone's just Estus. And one of them's coming back. Get the spear guy. Come on. Got him. Slightly hit by sword man here, but nothing really doing there. Blocked by a shield. Watch the arrow. There's a lot going on right now. There's a lot going on right now. I need to get an Estus. Oh, dear, no. No, 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 I've fallen off. Get out the way. <laughs> oh, that got a bit close, didn't it? That 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 did get a bit close for comfort. Look at it now. Absolutely useless. Let's just firebomb it. Why not? I've got so many firebombs at this point, so I might as well just firebomb it. Uh, be careful not to get hit by it. Um, but, yeah, just uh, keep firebombing it. I'll use this guy. This guy is trying to get to me, so let's just avoid that and kill him. No, maybe not. Okay, a couple more hits should do it. No, I still can't hit him. Come on, where's your depth perception, Hobbitron? Where is it? There it is. You found it. And I get a longsword for my troubles. Um, so that's nice, isn't it? Once again, get that guy aggroed so I can firebomb him a few times. Like... So, and, oh, that's not good. Run away, run away, run. Oh, no, oh, no. Okay, I avoided it. I avoided it. We're good. You can hear that bell. We're going to be hearing that a lot during this particular episode, let me tell you. We're going to be hearing that 
a hell of a lot. Up I come here again. Another firebomb to hit him with. And that should... No, he's just going to stay there. Okay, I'm going to have to keep aggroing him if I have any chance of... Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, my view got blocked. <laughs> my view got blocked by the tree. I couldn't see that he was about to charge. Oh, god damn it. I'm dead. And I'll see you back there, I guess. Right, I'm back in. As you can see, the boar has already been aggroed. I don't quite know how that happened. But, um, the bo Oh! What, what even happened there? He just knocked me so hard that I he pushed me down all the way back through this corridor and off the ladder. Unbelievable. So, I don't- I can't remember even how the boar spawned so quickly, but he did. So I'm having to be very careful of that and make sure he doesn't aggro again. So let's just stay in this corridor a bit for now. Watch the spear guy strafe. He's not harming us at the moment, so that's fine. He can do that all he likes because he's not hurting me. Okay, so I think it's safe to come back out now and try and kill this spear guy. He's not falling for my tricks. Yes, he is. He's fallen for my clever little trick. And he's survived it. And now he hasn't. Yes, he has. No, he hasn't because he's dead. So, that's him taking care of. The boar is back in its original position, so I should be able to run up here and try and take care of these guys again. So, second time lucky. Let's hope we can get rid of them without falling off this time. I'm going to try a backstab. I'm going to fail the backstab. He's going to fall off again. I'm going to fall off again. Oh, no. Get my souls at least. Get your souls. At the very least, get your souls. Oh, this is not going as well as I'd hoped. I'll be honest, this is not going as well as I'd hoped. Here comes Mr. Ballman. And the thing is, I, I'm running out of fire bombs here at this point, so... Uh, let's wait for his friends just to get through. There we go. They're both coming at me here, and... Oh, dear. One of them's hit me. I need to Estus. I definitely need to Estus. I have Estus, so I'm okay again. And he's Estus, so he's okay again. At least for the time being. And they're both going to do the same attack at the same time. So, I can use that to my advantage. Let's get this guy. One of them's down. Surely this guy's down any second. Yeah, he's down as well. Okay, so next up, I guess, is the boar again. This guy, man. This guy is so fast. Thing is, this guy doesn't respawn. So, he, if I take him out now, even if I was to die again... Oh, that was cheeky. Even if I was to die again, it wouldn't matter because this guy's dead. So, let's at the very least try and kill this dude. Just keep firebombing. This is such a cheap way of doing it. Or, if any, like, Dark Souls pros are watching this, oh my god, they'll be writing so many angry comments because this is such a cheat and newbie way to do it. But this is the way I am doing it, so do you know what? Deal with it. Deal with it. Alright? So... More hits should do the tr Oh, wait, nope, there he is, he's dead. He's dead. So, I'll take it. I will take it. Now, next up, we've got to go... I was going to say through that gate. We can't go through the gate, but we've got to go to the other side of that gate. We're going to go around the long way, though. Now, we've only got three SSs, but there's a bonfire not too far away. So, hopefully, I should be able to make it. Spear man still up here, but we'll still ignore him. And we'll try and get crossbow man just here. He's fallen down, so that's fine. I'll pick up these things that I never, ever use, so it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to get rid of this guy first, otherwise he's going to annoy me. There we go, he's down. And finally, we've got to get Spearman. I want to get as many people as I can. I could just run on from this point, but I don't want to. I want to get as many people as I can. So let's run back up here to Spear Dude and see if I can get him. I can't get him. He can nearly kill me, though, and I, I lose another Estus as recompense for my actions there. But he's half dead as well, and he's going to try and Estus, and he's going to fail, because I'm just going to kill him. Right! That's this bit finally over and done with, hopefully, as I move on into this section of building here. There's a trap here by Hollows. If I'm not careful, there's one, and there's another one over here somewhere as well. 
But they're only hollow, so... I mean, they're two hits, though. It takes two hits to kill these guys, not one. So even the hollows have gained some strength. You know, moving into this section of... Um, game, shall we say. Undead Parish. They're still fairly easy, though. I mean, at the end of the day, they're just hollows. So it's still fairly simple, really. Get that guy as well. There should be another one down here who's guarding an item. So we'll deal with him. And we'll pick that up as well. What is it? It is the mystery key. It's a mystery key. Who knows what it does? I mean, that's what mystery means, doesn't it? So uh, we don't know what it does, to be honest. So we'll come up to these two guys here and we'll kill them. At the no, we won't. They'll nearly kill me. All right. All right. Fair enough. There we go. We'll kill them both at the same time. And I nearly left that item behind. So let's go back and get that. What have we got? We have got a large soul of a lost undead. Lovely jubbly. Up the ladder. And there's no enemies on this top floor here. So we'll have to traverse this white light here. Now, luckily, there isn't a boss on the other side of this one. So we'll leave it. Now, there is this guy, though, who can be backstabbed fairly easily. Just get close, just get close, just get close. And bang! Yeah, boy! Unfortunately, a backstab is not enough to kill this guy. Not on its own. Not with this weapon or this level of strength. So... This guy's fast. He's a fencer. I should know. I teach fencing to uh, kids in primary school, so I should know what fencing's like. And this guy is a bit of a fencer, really. So, got to be careful of him because fencers are pretty quick, guys. Yes, now we're getting him. He's going to Esther up. I'm going to use the opportunity to try and hit him. No! Oh, man. I should have Esther up as well, and I didn't because I thought I'd kill him whilst he was. Never mind. Once again, uh, luckily the wild boar doesn't respawn, really so it should be a fairly simple task in getting back to him. So see you there. Right, here we are. Now, I'm just going to check what weapons I've got. Um, nah, the Zweihand is really, really heavy, so let's not use that. However, I don't think I want to use my Shimitar anymore. I think I'm going to switch to the Longsword. Because the longsword has a thrusting attack. The shimitar doesn't. And the thrusting attack means I can uh, deal with the next guy very, very easily. So this guy here, next to the wall, becomes a lot easier when you've got a thrusting attack. Because it means that when you attack him, you're just able to do this. Straight across. And that means you don't risk hitting the wall with your attack. He's going to back up. He's going to try and nest us. As he always does. And I'm going to punish him for that. Like so. So that's him dealt with. And yep, yeah, now I've got to get back to hopefully that knight guy. So I can backstab him nicely with this longsword. Let's just take care of these rats first. Like so. Even these become one here. Oh, humanity. They've given me a humanity. So that's nice. And uh, yeah, you can die. And see you in a sec. Into the fire you go. <laughs> oh, that's good fun, isn't it? Slowly, quietly, slowly, quietly, slowly, quietly. Bang! Butt stab. It's not even a back stab. It's a butt stab. And I got him. Now, hopefully with this sword, I should be able to take him on a bit easier because I have got that thrusting attack, which is why I much prefer this sword over the long sword. So, yeah. I should be able to thrust and roll. Thrust. <laughs> thrust and roll. Oh, hold on. Nice combo. He's got me back. No, I've got to be careful. I have to be careful. I'm going to ask. I'm not taking any risks. Roll away. One thrust, I think, and he might have had it. Oh, dear. Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't be an idiot. Don't be an idiot. No. Oh, this is bad. Okay, he's gone into his repost mode, so let's just leave him be for now until he gets out of that again. If, if you try to attack him when he does that, he does a counter-attack and you die, so it's not very good. Come on! He's so close. He's so close. One thrust attack. Come on! Come on! Yes! Got him! It was a bit harder than I was hoping for, but I still got him, so 
I'm not going to complain too much. Get the Night Shield, which is so much better than the thing I've currently got now. So we'll just swap out the Leather Shield for the Night Shield and continue on our way. So uh, next up is... Uh, there's a guy around this corner, I think. Yeah, here he is. It's another spear dude. These spear dudes are starting to get on my nerves. Just with their very existence, if I'm honest with you. So let's just get rid of him, if I can. Um, like, uh, so. Really? Yep, yeah, just like that. So, that was nice and easy. Would my nose stop running like it's a marathon, please? This is making it really hard to commentate. Keep her clear. I mean, my, I guess my voice has just got weird, literally now, because I'm covering my nose with a tissue. So, sorry about that. Uh, but this guy's looking a threat. But he's actually easier than the guy I just took on. So, uh, we'll just have to deal with him. Just bear with my commentary a minute. Uh, yeah. Come on. You just gotta strafe this guy, really. And backstab! Nope, not this time. That's annoying. You just gotta take your time with these slightly harder guys. There's a spear guy on the way as well, so I've gotta keep an eye out for him behind me. Yep, there he is. You can see him in that little corridor there. As I try and get this guy, I've got the low ground, which is actually better than the high ground in this game. So, always try and be on the low ground if you can, because it's a, it's a real advantage. No! 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 You are not Esther Singh. You are dying. Thank you very much. Oh, this guy's come at me as well, which makes it very easy to kill him in just a few strokes. Like so. Oh, and he's dropped something. What's he dropped? He has dropped a spear. Well, of course he has. He's a spear, dude. So, that's that bit usefully taken care of. Now, we are so close to my favourite weapon in the game. And as soon as I can use it, I am using it. I don't quite have the strength stat for it just yet, but I will do very soon. Firstly, I've got to deal with this guy. So, I can do that very swiftly just now. With a few attacks like that. He's almost dead already. He might try Nestus, and if he does, I'm killing him. So, I'm killing him either way, to be honest. Oh, you cheeky man. You cheeky, cheeky, hollow knight, dude. Wow! He was only one hit point away. And, well, I used it because I killed him. There it is, the halberd. Oh, yeah. I love the halberd. I so, so, so love the halberd for a number of reasons, especially when it becomes lightning. I love to upgrade it to lightning and Anor Londo, and then I just become immense. So I can't wait for that to happen. Like I said, I can't quite wield it yet, and as I dual wield it, and I can't be bother with that right now, but uh, but is dual wield the right word? I think it's actually two hand. Two hand's the word, not dual wield. Dual wield is when I have a weapon in each hand. And that's just so badass that I can't pull it off. I do not have that level of badassery. So, yeah. Whoops. Now then, we're nearly at the next bonfire. And also, uh, another good friend of ours. From a store, all the cool guys in this game or well, most of the cool guys in this game seem to be from Astora, and I don't know why. Astora seems like a pretty cool place, a nice place for a holiday. So I'll have to make sure I get there at some point. Book a holiday to Astora as I get rid of these guys. Ow! Or so I thought. Oh dear, don't don't die now. You're too close to the next bonfire to die now. Look at that. Synchronized Esther thing with this guy. Except it's only going to be useful for me because he's going to die anyway. And then, well, this guy... He hasn't got a hope ready, he's just got a crossbow, so... Yeah, bye-bye. Now, there's a guy in there who I could take on, but no, not yet. I mean, I've got 9,208 souls that I don't want to waste. Um, I've only got one Estus left, and it's just not worth it, as that bell is getting really loud now as I get closer and closer in. But uh, we should be able to hear the dink, dink, and dink of Andre the Blacksmith, who is below us. And we're going to pay him a visit after we level up, because I want to I wanna use this halberd, so... Uh, let's sit in this bonfire here, and let's, let's level up as much as we possibly can. So, we need strength, basically. We just need lots and lots of strength. And, um, well, we've still got a few left, so vitality, endurance, and... Yeah, that'll do it, I think, so... Yeah, I'll take those stats, please, and level them up. Uh, so, yep, yeah, click accept past me. Please click accept. Those stats are absolutely fine. There we go. We've done it. And uh, we've got 673 souls left if we need them. 
when we're talking to Andre down there. So let's go speak to him. Let's go meet him. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Andre of Astora. Well, you must be a new arrival. I'm Andre of Astora. If you require smithing, then speak to me. I do require some smithing, Andre, so... Uh, let's do it. Let's upgrade the halberd. So I have some titanite shard. Well, I have one titanite shard at the moment, but that's enough to upgrade it at least by plus one. However, this guy does sell titanite shards, I think. So if I need any, I can just buy some, but uh, not right now. Most weapons and armor are mighty sturdy indeed. Every hunk of metal has its breaking point. If you notice durability running low, it's time to repair. You can ask a blacksmith like myself, or do it on your own with a grindstone. The nice thing about weapons, they never betray you. So pay them a little respect, eh? Self-kill. Neither of us want to see you go hollow. Right, anyway, so enough of that. So, let's see what's down here. What's down here? Um, no, let's not see what's down there. Let's, <laughs> no, thanks. Let's, uh, let's, let's, no. <laughs> That's a big old nope right there. Um, so, actually, let's go over, let's see what's down here. That looks like a big portcullis to me. And I see a man who looks like an onion. There is a man here who looks like an onion. And um, let's see if we can speak to him. Hmm. 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 Oh, forgive me. I was absorbed in thought. I am Ziegmeier of Katarina. Quite honestly, I run flat up against a wall, or a gate, I should say. The thing just won't budge, no matter how long I wait. And oh, have I waited. So, here I sit, in quite a pickle, weighing my options, so to speak. <laughs> All right, so this guy's Stupos. stuck. Stupos. Mm. And guess who's going to be the one to help him? So, let's get right on with it. That bell is going absolutely nuts. It is having a party like Jamie Vardy right now. So, um... The next person to hopefully ring the bell. Well, maybe not the next person, but one of the future people to ring the bell is going to be me uh, or us or ourselves or however you want to put that. Um, but we've got to get there first. We've got to get to the bell. And to do that, um, we need to come up these steps. First of all, that is the first task. And we have completed that task very nicely indeed. Next, we need to get rid of these guys again since they've respawned. And oh, this halberd. Look at that. Oh, five hit kills have become two hit kills in a matter of seconds. Oh. And the range you get, you can just stay so far back and just kill him. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. I absolutely, I love it. I actually love it. And here comes this guy who is the guy I didn't want to take on before. But now with my halberd, I am feeling supremely confident because to be honest, he is slow. Look at that. And I can just get him like that. And it's just, it's going to be so easy when I can get this much space on. Oh, that's a double attack, and he still missed. That was the one chance he probably had with that double attack. Nah, mate, you ain't getting me with that shield. The shield isn't even protecting you. I don't quite know why you have it right now. And you're just gonna die right here, right now. Told you. Not even a single hit taken, and he's down. And I'm going to get a Titanite Shard. Oh, yeah. I can use that to upgrade this halberd when I can. Uh, he was guarding something over here. He was guarding a Firekeeper Soul. Isn't that, isn't that intriguing? Now, look at that guy up there. He's our next target. Should we, uh, what should we do? Let's, let's challenge him. Come down here, son. Come down here. Take me on. I bet you won't. Yeah, I bet you won't. Um, now this is the way up to him. Before I do that, um, I am going to take this lift here. 
to a very, very familiar place. I love this lift, man. I love this lift. And this is why I love Dark Souls 1. Because more than any of the other two Dark Souls games, and unfortunately I'm playing on Xbox, so I haven't played Bloodborne, um, but this world feels it's so interconnected, because look, I'm back at Fire Link Shrine again. This is why I love this game, because all the areas feel so connected, and you can find secret passageways and pathways, and oh, it's excellent. Mr. Crestfallen Warrior is still there. We're back in Fighting Try and we're going to reverse hollowing so we can summon some people or someone for the upcoming boss fight, which we're going to get to. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, I just love how interconnected this world is. And um, it is what sets it apart and above the other Dark Souls games for me. You know, it's, I, I know this game is clunky in its combat and it has rubbish hitboxes and I know even after this remaster probably the worst graphics, I don't know, but this game is my favourite Dark Souls game and to everyone who says the remaster is just a cash grab, yeah, I don't know, maybe it is, maybe it isn't, but you know, it's so satisfying to play this game with an online that's alive and, you know, it does look a lot nicer. There are a few added features here and there, and I don't know what people are expecting. It's a remaster, not a remake. They weren't going to do major overhauls. They were just going to make it look better and maybe tweak tiny, tiny parts. And that's what they've done, and I'm perfectly happy with it because, you know, it's Dark Souls Remastered. The original's always there if you want to play that, but why would you when this is out? So anyway, we'll head back up from Firelink Shrine up to the... Uh, Undead Parish. My halberd is currently phasing through the wall, so I have a magic halberd, which means I should be indestructible, but we'll see. Um, so let's come on up here. There we go, so we're back up. That guy doesn't respawn, by the way, the big guy, he doesn't respawn. He's a, he's a one-time kill only. Now we've got another fencer guy here, but now I've got my halberd. Oh, look at how easy it is now that I've got my halberd. Look at that, he's backing away, he's afraid. Come on. Come on. There you go. Quick death, mate. I'll be merciful. I'll give you a quick death. Now, we got to take on big what's-it magic guy over here. Yeah, that guy right here. Now, this guy's weird. He does some... Look at that. Why is he doing a weird dance? Why is he doing a weird dance? Why is he doing that for? He's also aided by a, a whole host of hollows here. So let's just get rid of them. Um, and occasionally he does a physical attack as well. He's mostly a magic guy, but he does do physical attacks when he wants to. Ow! There's so many hollows that come after you that, to be fair, one of them's bound to get you usually if you're not careful. Now, this guy is big, but he has absolutely no health. Um, it's these hollows that worry me more, to be honest. So I'll just take an Estus quickly. Um, and get down there and kill this guy. Come on, one more should do it. There we go. Like I said, they've got no health, really. They're big, but they're not that scary. Oh! Was that a triple kill? It was at least a double kill. So that was fun. Is that the last of the hollows? Has he left anything? No, I thought he had it. It was just some sort of reflection glinting. I'm getting a message from James, F1, etc. Um, he's, he's asking if I want to play F1. Well, maybe. I doubt it at the moment, because I'm trying to record Dark Souls. So, um, yeah. Hi, James. Shout out to James. He's, he's quick ears. Man, is James quick on F1. He is quick. He's winning the championship, and he's in a Toro Rosso. I'm in a Red Bull. So that tells you how quick he is. Anyway, let's take care of another fencer, dude. Well, that was easy, wasn't it? Let's go past him. And uh, that is a breakable sort of set of planks there. Those bells really are so loud when you're, when you're right next to here. Get rid of this barrel. And this hollow should drop humanity. Yes, lad. Yes, thank you very much. Um, and I've got another message from the same chat, and I'm just going to quickly message them back to tell them to leave me alone because I'm playing Dark Souls. And now that I've done that, still human, are you? Then I am in luck. Could you help me? As you can see, I am stuck without recourse. Yeah, sure, I'll get you out. You're welcome. It's the mystery key. Thank you. 
Yes. Sincerely. I am Knight Nautrek of Karim. I truly appreciate this. And I guarantee a reward. Only later. Yes, very sorry. Your reward will have to wait. I have just been freed. Allow me some time. Well, I bet that guy is completely okay and trustworthy and not at all a dick in any way, shape, or form. He is, I bet he's a top notch guy, that one. Oh, I bet I could trust him with my life. I I bet it on my firekeeper's life at Firelink Shrine. I bet I bet he's a solid stand-up guy, that one. Anyway, let's move on. Because we have a boss to defeat. We do. We have a... Oh, there's a summon sign here. Harkin. Sorry, Harkin, mate, but... I don't need ya. I don't need ya. Is that a hollow? Just a random dead hollow? Okay. I didn't kill ya, but... Alright, maybe it was Harkin. Maybe Harkin killed him. I don't know. Oh, another summon sign. Who are you? Um, Iriana? Ari... I, 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 I don't know how to say that, but... I don't need you. Look at all these summon signs. I love it, but there's only one man for me. There's only one sexy, sexy man for me. Happy Pride Month, everyone. Ah, oh, yes. Join me. Join me, you sexy man. Knight Solaire of Astora. And we're going to go take on the boss that is through that white light. And hopefully ring that bell for ourselves. Let's go. Gargoyle, here we go. Oh, that hurt. That's a good start. Oh, he's gotten his lightning spear out already. We're only two seconds and he's already got his lightning spear out. And look at the damage it did. Oh, what a beautiful amount of damage. He's concentrating on Soleil at the moment, so I'm just going to get him from behind. Here we go. Now I'm distracting him. Oh, he stunned him a bit. That's excellent news. Yeah, back to Soleil. Just going to time to concentrate on him again. Watch him when he's in the air. He might do a bit of a... I know that some of the gargoyles do that. A second one has joined us. A second one who breathes fire, but only has half health. And this one's already pretty much dead, so I'm just going to concentrate on this one, get rid of this one as fast as I can, as Solaire, I think, distracts the other one. Yeah, this one's down already. Now we've only got Mr. Fire Breather to go as the bell goes off. Oh, my word, this is intense. I have a gargoyle's halberd as well. Oh my word, that's more fire he's breathing there. I thought only the drakes could breathe fire, but apparently not. Oh, he's dead. Well. Thanks, dude. Thanks, son, bro. Thanks, Knights of Lair. Cheers, mate. Appreciate your help. And that's it. The bell gargoyles are down. One and a half of them. Because, let's be honest, it was one and a half. Jump for joy at the end of that. And finally... After all the times we've heard the bell so far during this walkthrough, it is our time to ring the bell for ourselves. But first, we've got to go up a, a frankly outrageously long ladder, so let's just get up here first. Did I even Estus during that? I think I did. Yeah, I did. I did once. I Estus once right after the start. It's a very easy boss battle, especially if you summon someone for it, because then they can you can just use them as distraction and, well, Bob's your uncle, really. So up oh, this ladder here. And thank you for watching, everyone. I'm going to leave it after this cutscene. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys, hopefully, for part four. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.